Spotify is one of the largest music streaming platforms in the world, and what's cool about the app is the social aspect, which allows you to stay updated on what your friends are listening to, but also share and create custom playlists. There are so many cool cover art designs on Spotify, and a well-designed cover can really help your music playlist stand out. Artists are able to create great album art, and now you'll be able to share your playlist designs with the world. Hey, this is Nick from Snapbun. In today's design tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create some cool looking Spotify cover art designs so that your playlist can really stand out. So let's get right into it. So what you want to do first is make sure that you have the best Spotify playlist cover art size so that your image is optimized for Spotify's guidelines. The recommended Spotify cover art photo size is 300 pixels by 300 pixels. And this is an aspect ratio of one by one. You'll also want to make sure that your image format is a JPEG and that your file size is under four megabytes to meet the platform's requirements. So before we get started, here are a few Spotify playlist cover image tips to keep in mind for your designs. The first tip is to use color contrast in your cover art so that the designs stand out on different devices and important elements are properly emphasized. The second tip is to add text to establish context. Think of your cover as a thumbnail, where the user should know the type of playlist you've made just from looking at the visual. Additionally, if you're a brand, it can be beneficial to add your logo or different brand elements into the design to familiarize yourself with the audience. And finally, the last tip is to opt for simple and easy to scan images. Detailed images will be overlooked, so simple designs and color schemes will be most effective. To make things easier, I'm going to be using Snappa to create my Spotify playlist cover art. So once we're in, we're going to go ahead and add a custom dimension size. So I'll add in 300 by 300, which is the best Spotify playlist cover size. Then I'll click create. Once we have the canvas open, we can begin our design. So the playlist cover I'm going to create is for a hip hop playlist. So I'm going to cater the design to that. First, what I want to do is navigate to the backgrounds tab in the top left here. From here, I can either add a photo from our free stock photo library, I can add a pattern background, I can upload my own image, or I can add a colored background. In this case, I'll use the photo library and search for an image within hip hop. Once I've searched the library, I can now begin to look at the different photos and choose one that suits the playlist cover the best. So I kind of like this one here, so I'll click on it. Once it's on the canvas, I can actually reposition and scale in, scale out by navigating to the reposition button on the top left here. Once I do that, I can choose scale a bit in if I want, scale a bit out, and then I can also drag and move this around to position it to where I want it to be. So here I'm gonna center it so that I can add a bit more text on the top here. Once I'm done doing that, I'll click apply. So one big tip earlier was to have some type of contrast in your playlist cover. Um, what you can do after you pick an image, if you want to make sure that your text will stand out, you can navigate to the effects tab. And what this will do is you can adjust the effects of this background image that you chose. So for example, if your image was say a bit brighter um, and you wanted your text to maybe stand out a bit more, you can add a dark color overlay so that it's a bit darker. And when you add white text, it'll stand out a lot more. In this case, the image is pretty dark in itself, so no need to really add color overlay. You could also darken the image, and you can also add blur if you want. So if you add a bit of blur, you can add some font so that your text will really stand out. In this case here, we're fortunate enough that the photo is already pretty dark, and there's room for us to add text that will already stand out. So from here, we'll just navigate to the text tab. So the next thing we want to do is add the title of our playlist so that it, we can have context in the visual. So once I navigated to the text tab, I'm going to click on add a subheading. Once it appears on the canvas, I can adjust this text by double clicking on it. And I'm going to name it hip hop head. So it's a bit more creative than just hip hop music. I'm also going to change the color of the text from black to white. And then I'll also decrease the size to about say 30 so that it fits within the frame of the image. What I'm also going to do is actually change the font style. So I'll click on the 
text box, I'm going to navigate to the top left here. And under font, I'm going to choose a different font style. So in this case, I'm going to choose a font called League Spartan. Once I'm happy with this font style, I'm going to click on the text box, decrease the size of the text box just a bit by dragging it in. And then I'm going to click on it and reposition it to the center. So right now the font looks a bit too big for my liking. So I'll adjust the font to about 25. And then once again, reposition it to the center. So I'm pretty happy with this playlist cover art right now. But if you wanted to add different elements like your brand logo or your photo, you can do that too. So how I'm going to do this is I'm going to navigate to the graphics tab in the top left here. From here, I'm going to navigate to the uploads tab and I'm going to add the Snapple logo in. So once I click on that, I'm going to resize it and then reposition it down to the center here. Alternatively, what you can do is add a photo of yourself so that it kind of brands it as your own personal playlist. So I'll click on the Snapple logo. I'm going to click on the trash can to delete the layer. Then I'm going to navigate back to the graphics tab. I'm going to navigate to uploads again. And so here I already cropped as a circle crop, but what you can do here is have the photo that you uploaded for your profile picture, for example, click on the crop and rotate button. From here, a screen will pop up and I'm going to create a circle crop. Once I have that, I'm going to resize the crop so that it's center, position it a bit up. Once I'm done doing that, I'll click apply and the new image should appear into your uploads tab, just like the one on the left side here. Once that's done, you click on that. It'll appear in the center of your canvas. I'm going to resize it and then reposition it to the corner. So there are tons of different design ideas that you can use for your Spotify cover art. I use Spotify as a place for inspiration because some of the best playlists are already here. So one that we can recreate is this I love my 90s hip hop here. So to recreate this playlist cover art, I'm going to start with a new canvas. Once I'm in, I'm going to navigate to the backgrounds tab once again. From here, instead of choosing a photo background, I'm going to navigate to patterns and I'm going to choose a gradient background. Once I have a gradient background that I like, I will click on it. The next thing I'm going to do is navigate to the top left and click on this button here to flip it vertically. That way I have the darker portion at the top and the lighter portion at the bottom. What I'm going to do next is now navigate to the graphics tab. I can either choose from the icons library if I wanted to add an icon in. I can choose from the vectors tab if I wanted to add some cool illustrations in. But in this case, I'm going to search the photos library once again, and I'm going to look for portraits. So once I found a portrait that I like, I'm going to click on it. Once the portrait is added to the canvas, I'm actually going to click on remove the image background. Once the background image is removed, I'm going to resize the image and then reposition it in the photo so that I can add some text at the top once again. So once I'm happy with my photo along with my background, I'm going to navigate to the text tab and I'm going to add a subheading in again. So in this case, I'm going to double click on it and rename this 90s dance. I'm also going to change the color of the text from black to white. And I'm going to just reduce the size of the text to maybe 35. And then once again, I'm going to drag the image out so that I can decrease the size of the text box and then drag it back into the center and reposition it. The next thing I'm going to do now is change the font style to the font style of choice. So I'm going to change this to Roboto Black. So now that I'm happy with my design, I can export it out. So first what I'm going to do is rename the image. So I'll rename it to 90s dance cover art. From here, I'm also going to save it into Snappa so that I can make changes in the future. Once I'm done doing that, I'm going to click on download and I'm going to download it as a retina JPEG for the highest possible quality. And once it's saved to my desktop, I can now upload it into Spotify. Now to upload your playlist cover into Spotify, it's super simple. So I'll go and add a new playlist down on the left here. Once I'm done doing that, I'll add a title. So 90s dance in this case. 
And then here I can choose an image, so I'll click on that. Once you've found the folder that you downloaded the image to, I'm going to click on it, click open. And just like that, our Spotify cover art is perfectly aligned within the square dimensions. You can add a description, and once you're done doing that, you can create. And from here, you can easily add music into your playlist with an awesome cover art. So that's it for today's design tutorial. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like since it helps the channel a lot. If you guys want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you guys are looking for another video or maybe a part two series that goes through some more Spotify cover ideas, be sure to drop a comment down below and if we get enough demand, I'll go ahead and do that. So I'll see you guys all in the next one. Cheers.